Hey everybody, just Bob out on uh, Freedom. First ride since FAM 22. And uh, figured I'd better give you a little uh, report on how the ST1300 did. It's a, it was a good shakedown cruise, I'll tell you what, between mountain roads, gravel roads, interstate, rain, uh, heat, uh, can't think of anything else, didn't snow. It was wonderful. It, uh, it's got a 7.7 .7 gallon fuel tank, which really was great as far as, you know, distance and everything. Stayed on too long, uh, going up, but it was kind of proved something to myself, I guess, and just see how, how the bike did. Um, I was ready to bail off when I got to Johnson City, Tennessee. I, I went non-stop. But uh, anyway, I made it. Shoot, fire. The V4, uh, I found out in, you know, the mountain roads, if it's loose pavement of any kind, gravel, what have you. If I was in first or second, the throttle response was too quick and I'd break the tire loose. But with the V4, I was able to leave it in third gear and lug it through the slow parts and then, shoot, I could pick up on anybody on the, on the fast parts of the road, you know. But uh, I was pleased with it. it uh, and I'm sure, you know, with Black Betty, everybody was preaching suspension. I had bought the hammock seat or the uh, Mustang Ultra Tour seat which was a comfortable seat, but it, uh, it changed my position quite a bit. Um, I probably would have kept Black Betty had I gone back to the tall boy seat. I don't know. I was just, whatever, everything's meant to be for a reason. Uh, this motorcycle is unbelievably smooth. Uh, I haven't messed with the suspension, which is real easy. It's got an external adjustment for the rear suspension. Um, seems just fine for me. It actually was smoother than the Harley. It handles phenomenally. Uh, cornering, whatever. I, I was just uh, tickled to death with it. The acceleration is... Uh, is great. I, I like it. A um, couple things I might do is get uh, maybe extend the handlebars up an inch. Um, certainly doesn't have to be too much. You know, I wasn't uncomfortable. Um, the only thing I do miss on a ride like that was cruise control. I put a throttle lock on it the day before I left, and it basically didn't work. Um, you know, got to try it or what have you. Maybe I don't have it right. I don't know. But, uh, I do miss the cruise control, and I will do something about that. Uh, I promise you. The um, storage on the motorcycle, good golly, I, I've got as much as I did with the uh, the electric glide with the King Tour Pack on it. Uh, both side bags are big enough; they they hold a full face helmet. Um, the trunk, eh, it's smaller than the King Tour Pack. But it was fine for what I want. You know, I'm just, uh... In half a mile, turn left onto US 17 North, US 21 South. I'm just pretty per impressed with it. Mm -hmm. All right.
right, everybody. I'm on my way back from the ocean. And uh, it's a hot day today. Over to my right, that's Plant Vogel. Nuclear energy plant. Almost in my back door. Pretty impressive. But uh, I'll tell you what, it was a warm one. Uh, about 96 degrees. Went down to Beaufort, uh, like I always do. Didn't have shrimp and grits this time, had flounder and she crab soup. Always a good meal. The two towers straight ahead of me aren't active yet. Obviously the two over to the right are. Pretty amazing. I have no idea how much power they generate. More than I need. But anyway, I'm uh, about to the house and uh, hope everybody had a great weekend and uh, stay safe. 